so long I don't be here on IGTV to talk to you guys mostly on my stories and YouTube go over there as well it's so much content there for you daily but in this IGTV video I want to talk to you guys about four tips on how to start a beauty business from zero plus how to get your first customers and how to make them loyal first tip I have for you is choose your services and demographics but choose them according to the place you live in and to what kind of people live in that place like for example if you live in a place surround by golf courses surround by bridal stores you're gonna be catering more to brides if you are surrounding more a corporate or business you're gonna cater to those doing more events and doing things more corporate makeups and hair as well so you would focus and that that's the first thing I tell you to do the first step I tell you to follow because it's very important for you to cater your services for potential customers not what you think it's gonna be the best but also doing a research have your feeling put into everything but also have research to give you base and also help you to make your business profitable as soon as possible Number two, you need to know where you're going to perform your services. Are you going to rent a salon space? Are you going to rent a chair? Are you going to do mobile services? Are you only gonna offer makeup? Are you gonna offer hair as well? You need to put that all to perspective to make sure you are also accounting that expenses and profits. Make a separate business account, register your business, do everything legal so you won't have any troubles and everything and you know everything that is coming in and out of your business. Tip number three, how are you going to advertise your services? If you're renting a space, I recommend that you ask for your landlord, the owner of the salon, for the customers list so you can message those people to know that you're having this kind of services in the salon. For example, in this salon that I'm working at, they had makeup artists before, so they have it on outside. When you come in, makeup, hair, and all the services. But if they don't have, it's nice for you to talk with the owner to help promote your business as well. Because in the future, you will be able to bring clients from outside of the salon as well, not just in. And that way, the customers from the salon will already spend more time with you in the salon you're gonna be able to add more services and make them loyal and in the tip number three i have a couple more tips so do you have a social media profile very very important you need to show people what you're doing but i'm telling you not just before and afters right that's so boring of course they are very nice to show before and after for the customers to give them an idea but use that in a creative manner do it in videos, do it in reels, try to bring the trends with into your business so people know that you're always trending. Because the customers nowadays, they come to you and they say, oh, do you know the Bella Hadid makeup? Girl, you gotta know it. So, always keep yourself updated with trends and social media. Always keep your profile updated, do reels. Also teach people some stuff. Don't just show people what to do, but also the knowledge you have. Show them how to find the correct lipstick, how to do wing eyeliner, how to do curls in your hair, show a little bit of lifestyle, but show the beauty. Like for example, I do vlogs all the time on my YouTube channel, but I incorporate beauty on it. I tell people, hey, that's the makeup I'm using, that's the hair I'm doing. And always wanna show them different things, not just with clients, but yourself too. It's so important to show people that you know, that they can trust you. So we name the tip number three. I have another tip is, look for social events in your community in your neighborhood in your town start small and then grow because that way when more that you do advertise like the first month will be like mostly advertising maybe some clients and everything but you have to be very hard on advertising you have to go to different local events have your cards talk to people don't be shy if you're in the customer service business if you're super shy create a character just put a face on and say, hey, you know, just be nice to people at all costs. Always try to be engaging in different events, socially, online, like Zoom. There's also so many events as well. 
for people in the industry, but also in your local community. This is so important. The word of mouth is still the biggest advertisement there. So another tip we need, the tip number three, make use of public spaces. For example, bulletin boards. I just got a customer that actually just told me, hey, I found you at the park. I was like, at the park? She's like, yeah, at the bulletin board. So it's so important for you to make use of all ways to communicate with people, to bring business, not just social media, not just clients within the salon, everywhere. If there's a bulletin board, go print a flyer. It doesn't have to be super special or big or expensive. You can just print a paper, put some plastic on it because of the bad weather, put it in the park and leave it there. A lot of people go there daily and sometimes you never know, right? No, you already have, so why not? more people that know you and about your services much better for you so in the next month you can work on a lot of clients you bring you're making a cushion for you to lay after so every business has to start like that i'm talking about my experience and some other videos i've been working on i've done this business in brazil i've done in halifax and now i'm doing even harder here because i'm renting a salon space and i've been studying a lot so i wanted to share with you guys those tips let me know in the comments So now the last tip, not the least, but I think the most important tip is how to make your customers loyal. How to make your customers loyal. So the first topic is you have to show them that they can trust you. How? First contact, you have to ask all these questions. I have a questionnaire that I ask for people. I'll leave right here for my clients. I have a different one for consultation and classes and a different one for makeup application. And it's very nice for you to ask those in-depth questions. Do you have any sensitivities? What are your goals with makeup? Those personal questions will lead you to recommend the right services for your customer and make them happy. For you to see their envision, like for example, if a lady doesn't wear that much makeup, I'm not going to perform a special occasion makeup of a smoky eye on her. I'm going to first show her the Day Glam, which is our softest makeup, and then if she says, hey, maybe I want something more, then you recommend the night plan, but you go by recommendation. That way you are offering the services for your customer. They are not picking. And that way you have a chance to make a bigger sale, to do an add-on and also bring people in because they'll be like, oh, she asked me all these questions. Why didn't the other makeup artist didn't ask me all these questions? Oh, maybe she knows more or maybe I can trust her better. So those are things to make your customer loyal, like just in the first contact to give them confidence that they are choosing the right professional to make them beautiful for their special day. So another topic is always, always confirm your customer. If they come into the salon, it doesn't matter if I already talked to them before. If they're not a walk-in, I want to confirm, hey, this is your picture, right? This is what you told me you want to done. Anything that we're going to change, this is the hair. You always want to reconfirm because they can change your mind and it's okay. And if they change their mind, you still want to perform your best. You know, of course I like to studying before, but if the person says, I changed my mind, I don't want that. Then I have to reinvent myself, right? And for trials as well, you always want to ask your brides or if they are doing another makeup trial, hey, how are you feeling? How the makeup felt in your face? Did you have any troubles? Most likely not but you always have to ask them because that communication between you and your customers is key to make them loyal and coming back to you because they trust you and the last one is treat them well you have to always make them feel like a queen or king i'm specialized in women those are my demographics but if there's people going for a photo shoot a man and looking for my services i won't deny it i need clients do you i need clients i'm not telling anybody to go home and then it's very important for you to always give them a little something, you know? Like, I always give them a scrunchie with my card. Not to make it so cheesy, like, here's my card, annoying. But I also, like, my card has a QR code, makes it more interesting, like, hey, you're super trendy, go over to my YouTube channel. Always talk about my social media, because more they see my face, more they're gonna remember. Oh, Mariana does makeup. Oh, I love that kind of makeup she did yesterday. Maybe I wanna do that. Can she do that in my hair? That's how you're gonna make them loyal. Guys, thank you so much for being here in this video. I will see you guys in the next one and comment down below. What do you think? Do you like IGTVs like that?
let me know bye